Hello, this is Loopline, and in this video I want to tell you about some cool new features that are coming in Scrapebox 2.0 that's just around the corner. So one of the things is that the Harvester is completely redesigned. Of course, the entire program and all the add-ons and plugins have been rebuilt from scratch, from the ground up, with over a million lines of code that were completely redone from the past five years worth of work. So with the Harvester itself, now there are two Harvesters. There is the Custom Harvester and the Detailed Harvester. If you roll over it, a little tooltip will come up and tell you about each. The Detailed Harvester is basically that. It gives you a lot of details so you can go in here and check off up to four engines and I'll just tick off four engines here and then um, I'm just gonna harvest right quick and you can see it gives you information about what's being used and it gives you a lot of details along the way great for troubleshooting that sort of thing and when you're done you can see the keywords you can export uncompleted keywords and all that sort of stuff but that isn't one of the big things I want to show you. One of the really cool things is the actual custom harvester itself. I'm not going to load any proxies in here. We're just going to click start harvesting. There are now cloud proxies that come free that basically Scrapebox has cloud servers out there that are filtering proxies 24 hours a day and all you have to do is check this box use server proxies and it will automatically download those proxies and use them and they're already pre-tested and filtered. So for this particular test I'm going to go ahead and just tick off a couple of engines here. Um, Google and or Yahoo and Bing the proxy this is a beta copy and the proxy servers are still being ramped up so they aren't in full production yet but it still worked great for the test here we have uh, about 300,000 just English keywords loaded in the background and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the connections here so that you can see them and you can see the harvester is set at 200 connections which is the current max here in the beta and just go back to the harvester here Yahoo and Bing and we're using server proxies and let's just hit start it's gonna download the proxies and then you can see it start chugging away at actually scraping URLs and so we'll let that run for just a second and check back and I did pause the video there for a few seconds you can see it's climbing but let's move on to the actual Google Harvester. So I have 815 or so Google proxies loaded up, same set of keywords, and I'm just gonna go ahead hit start harvesting here and use Google. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off server proxies, which is already done, and let's go back and double check that we have it set at 200 connections, and it, I did not, so let's do that. And then let's start harvesting away on that. And again, we'll let that run for a few minutes. You can see it's off to a fantastic start here, um, 2,500 URLs a second, uh, 2,800, you know, anyways, it's climbing. We'll come back at the duration here. Uh, after a few seconds, we can see there's 40,000 URLs. Again, we'll come back and check on that here in just a minute. And so I paused the video there for just a brief few seconds there. We can see we're up to, or a couple minutes rather, we're up to four and a half minutes um, and nearly 700,000 URLs a little over. And so that's still chugging away so while that runs for just a minute let's talk about the fact that Scrapebox is now 64-bit there's a 32-bit and 64-bit version so but with the 64-bit version you're no longer subject to the limitations of the 1.8 gigabyte memory limit that you had with 32-bit programs which means you can now work with bigger keyword lists and bigger files on the whole. You are still subject to the physical memory that's in your particular machine, so you obviously can't exceed that, but you can go over the 32 gigabyte limit. So in the past, you could usually work with like about a million keywords or less, maybe 800,000 to stay stable. Now, with the new version of 64-bit, you can do a lot more. So let's take over here, I've got 13 footprints, and I'm just going to grab again a keyword list and we'll just use that same English keyword list and merge it in and while that's merging I should tell you that Scrapebox is also now full Unicode and UTF-8 as well so in all areas you don't have to use the Unicode converter you can use all languages that support Unicode and UTF-8 and still work with those things in every area area of Scrapebox, every add-on, every plugin, everything. So here we have merged in about 4 million keywords roughly and so you can see that used to if you tried to use that with Scrapebox it would have crashed it now you can use it I've used just messing around over 6 gigabit of memory gigabytes of memory 
just on one instance of Scrapebox messing around. So that's really handy. Another cool thing about the new version is that there is a proxy classifier, so or a proxy source classifier rather. So I have here just under 10,000 proxies from some various proxy sources that I just scraped up. Uh, off of Google, I, I got some sources, threw them in, and then scraped the proxies themselves. And I have tested them all. And you can see the tester is a little bit different, but it's very intuitive, gives you some great information. And I can click this classify sources button, and you can see there's a tooltip that hovers over it. You can read that. When you click this, what it's going to do is it's going to take all my proxy sources. It's going to tell me how many proxies I got from each one. So this one I didn't get any from. It's going to tell me how many proxies worked out to be anonymous from each source and how many were Google passed from each source source and the percentages so I can see this source here was really great and it is 69% anonymous and 24% of those total were Google Pass proxies then I can export this whole thing to Excel I can sort it based off of these columns and then keep the ones I want go into my proxy harvester and just delete all my proxy sources and just re-import only the good ones that I want to keep based on either Google or anonymous or that sort of thing and I can totally quickly classify all my proxy sources and keep only the ones that are really going to provide me with great results. And you can do this over a period of days and then have a great idea of what ones are going to give you great results over time. Another quick thing I wanted to mention is under platforms, you can see here there's a bunch of platforms, but now there's actually a contact form poster with a couple platforms, and right here you can post to contact forms as well. So a new update there. And then, of course, the framework that is built or that makes up the new Scrapebox 2.0 really lays the groundwork for future updates, whereas with Scrapebox version 1x series, they didn't have the framework that they needed to build some of the updates that they wanted to build, but now they have a great framework that makes it a lot easier going forward. So let's just go quick check on our Google Harvester here and have a look. It's still burning through at over 2,000 URLs a second at 200 connections. It's been just nine minutes, just under 10 minutes, a little 1.2 million URLs. So pretty quick. Another thing that has been improved is the actual speed to do things. So here's 2.4 million URLs. I'm just going to remove duplicates and it only takes just a couple seconds and we remove duplicates from that. The old version would have taken a lot longer to remove duplicates from that large of a file. So really a lot of great improvements and again this is a beta copy. Um, there's still more work to be done on this particular co version before it's actually released and then of course they'll do more updates in the future but overall I'm super happy. Fantastic Google Harvester, very fast. 64-bit um, is great, so I can work with large lists, full Unicode support, UTF-8 support. Another thing that I did not show you that you can also do is completely resize the, um, the GUI itself, so you can make it however you want it to fit your particular screen, and you can even blow it up to massive. But some great things coming in Scrapebox 2.0 coming out soon, so stay tuned.